hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn about this new drug known as dupilumab as the name suggests there is mab that is mab in the name which means it is a monoclonal antibody let us now learn what are the clinical indication of this drug so that mechanism of action of this drug become easy for us this drug can be used in atopic dermatitis moderate to severe bronchial asthma rhinosinusitis especially chronic sinusitis with nasal polyposis and prurigo nodularis now let us learn about the mechanism of action of this drug there are two mediators interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 these are important mediators which stimulate inflammatory reaction the interleukin 4 acts via two receptors first one is interleukin 4 receptor and another one is interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 co-stimulatory receptor by binding to this receptor this interleukin 4 stimulates STAT6 pathway. It basically phosphorylates the STAT6. Now, this STAT6 enters the nucleus and interacts with the DNA. And then there is release of certain proteins. These proteins are responsible for the inflammatory reaction and which then leads to exacerbation of asthma and eczema. So, in such situation, we give this drug which blocks the interleukin 4 and there is no such reaction. But it is important to note that it should not be used in acute bronchospasm. Now let us see what are the side effects of this drug. It can cause conjunctivitis and keratitis which can lead to eye pain, discomfort and discharge from the eye. It can lead to eosinophilic pneumonia. It can also cause vasculitic rashes. It can lead to hypersensitivity reaction which can lead to angioedema and anaphylaxis. And it can also cause arthralgia, myalgia. Now, what precaution you should take while prescribing this drug? It should be avoided in helminthic infection as dupilumab can interact with the anti-helminthic drug and can decrease its effect. This drug should also be avoided if a child is given live vaccination because it can decrease the immunogenicity. Now, let us understand the route of administration and doses of this drug. It is available as subcutaneous injection in three doses 100 mg 200 mg and 300 mg for children's more than 12 years of age and adults the initial dose is 600 mg subcutaneous at two different sites. as the drug is available in 300 mg form then to give 600 mg we have to give two subcutaneous injection and this injection should be given at different site the initial dose is followed by 300 mg every two weeks for the patients of ectopic dermatitis and moderate to severe bronchial asthma. For children in age group 6 to 11 years, the doses are as follows. But it should be noted that it is not given in ch child less than 6 years of age. In children, it is given as per body weight. If the body weight of the child is more than 30 kg, then the dose is 200 mg every 2 weeks. And if the body weight is between 15 to 30 kg, then the dose is 100 mg every 2 weeks or 300 mg every 4 weeks. Now a special note about the injection. The injection has to be stored in a refrigerator but at the time of administration this drug should be taken out of refrigerator and kept in room air for at least 45 minutes in case of 300 mg injection and for at least 30 minutes in case of 200 and 100 mg injection. So that was it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button.